हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड वेस्टिजियल साइट बैंड मॉड्यूलेशन व्हिच इज वीएसबी मॉड्यूलेशन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी अंडरस्टूड अबाउट सिंगल साइट बैंड मॉड्यूलेशन यू नीड टू रिमेंबर हियर दैट सिंगल साइट बैंड मॉड्यूलेशन इज नॉट appropriate way of modulation because upper side band and lower side band meet at carrier frequency fc and it is very difficult to isolate one side band therefore getting ssb signal is challenging to overcome the difficulty a modulation technique which is known as vestigial sideband modulation can be used here vestigial sideband signal consists of one complete sideband and vestige or trace of other sideband so in the previous lecture we understood about single sideband modulation and single sideband modulation is not appropriate way of modulation so if we say not appropriate way so it is very difficult to obtain a single sideband because the upper sideband and lower sideband will meet at carrier frequency fc and it is very difficult to isolate one sideband with another sideband that's why getting single sideband signal is challenging to overcome this difficulty we'll go with vestigial sideband modulation in vestigial sideband signal one complete sideband is present and vestige or trace of other sideband is present so which means we'll be having a complete sideband and we'll be having a traces of other sideband so traces of other side band or part of other side band is known as vestige that's why it is known as vestigial side band modulation this block diagram shows vsb generator the vsb generator consists of product modulator and a single side band shaping filter as shown in this figure the product modulator will generate dsbsc signal and then pass through a sideband shaping filter this single sideband shaping filter will pass one complete sideband along with the trace of or the part of other sideband so this is the function of the vsb generator so the signal that is produced is represented as s of t therefore the spectrum of s of t can be given as s of f is equal to s1 of f multiplied with h of f here s1 of f is the dsbsc signal that is produced by the product modulator so product modulator will take the message signal and it will multiply with the carrier signal ac cos 2 pi fct to produce dsbsc signal that is represented as s1 of t the frequency domain representation of s1 of t is s1 of f so here h of f is the transfer function of sideband shaping filter h of f is the transfer function of sideband shaping filter so in frequency domain we can write above expression as s of f is equal to ac by 2 into m of f minus fc plus m of f plus fc into h of f this figure shows the spectral representation of message signal as well as vsb signal so figure a is the spectrum of message signal figure b is the spectrum of dsbsc signal s1 of t and figure c represent spectrum of vsb 
modulated signal s of t so from this figure it is very clear that it is transmitting one complete side band along with the part of other side band so this part of other side band is known as vestige so in this example the upper side band is completely transmitted and some part of lower side band is transmitted so this is the spectrum of vsb signal s of t so here you need to remember that the bandwidth of vsb signal will be greater than ssb signal but it will be less than dsbsc signal this block diagram shows the vsb demodulation that is used for demodulation of vsb signal here the vsb signal is multiplied with a carrier signal with a product modulator then it is passed through a low pass filter to obtain the original message signal the advantages of vsb modulation is that there is a reduction in bandwidth it is as efficient as single side band and it is very easy to design the filter now let us see the applications of vsb modulation the vsb modulation is a standard modulation technique used for transmission of tv signals this is about vestigial sideband modulation hope you have understood the topic thank you